What's up, the John Squad? This is John Pilling here, your YouTube World Heritage Champion here on YouTube, and I'm coming today with my WWE Monday Night Raw review for January 21st, 2019. So let's do this show with the John Squad. So we kicked off the Monday Night Raw with Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman. And Paul Heyman talks about last week on Monday Night Raw with, with Finn Balor and talks about how John Cena and talks about John Cena that he believes in Finn Balor and that the WWE Universe believes in Finn Balor. Balor, and that he seized the moment, you know, that's what he talks about, and that, and that, and that he said that Brock leaves, that, that Brock leans that he will turn Finn to a marker, that's what Brock Lesnar will do, and talks about, you know, talks about, you know, Miracles and stuff like that, and says and says stuff like that. And says that spoiler, even miracles fear Brock Lesnar. So that's what he says, and that he believes it in Brock Lesnar. So Paul Heyman believes in Brock Lesnar. So then Vince McMahon comes out and talks to Heyman and tells him about David and Goliath. So then, all of a sudden, is we have Braun Strowman comes out and talks about last Monday because of Baron Corbin that he took Braun Strowman's top opportunity away and that he will rip Brock Lesnar apart. So Finn Balor comes out and talks on the mic and talks about his opponent to face Brock Lesnar and talks about Brock Lesnar and says that he earned the right to face Brock Lesnar. So, so then Vince McMahon comes up with the first match on Raw. He comes up with, you know, he comes up with, um, he comes up with, uh, a David and the Goliath map. Braun Strowman versus Finn Balor. And Brock Lesnar was to stand ring size. So, Brock Lesnar did stand ring size. So then, the first match on Raw was Finn Balor versus Braun Strowman. And the winner was Finn Balor by disqualification due to Brock Lesnar delivering an F5 onto Finn Balor as Brock Lesnar came into the ring. So then we had a Bobby Lashley Intercontinental Championship, you know, tight Intercontinental Championship celebration. And Leo Rush says that says that that uh, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins is. Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins, that Bobby Lashley is better than Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins and everyone in the locker room. You know, that's what he says. And that he, and that he is, and that he is not doing the Intercontinental titles, open challenge matches, and that he's not here to compete and defend his titles. And so Lashley shows off his physiques, you know, his muscles. And then a Apollo Crews comes out and interrupts it and, and, starts to congratulate Lashley and he wants to to fight him in the ring so then they do a do do um a pose show off so what happens there is next uh Lashley then all of a sudden attacks Apollo Crews from behind as he's on the podium attacks Lashley you know you know Lashley attacks Apollo Crews but then Apollo Crews reverses it and then Throw, throws Lashley out of the ring, then throws Leah Rush on top of Bobby Lashley. So then we have a match. So then the second match on Raw was Apollo Crews versus Bobby Lashley, and the winner was Bobby Lashley. So then Seth Rollins cuts a promo, a little, little promo in the ring, and says that he is going to win the Royal Rumble. That's what Seth Rollins says, and, and talks about the Royal Rumble match. And talks about that he he could be doing some other job, and that WWE is his passion, and he promises to that that there will be uh, that he will be the one standing left, and that he will be the one that he will win the Royal Rumble. So then Drew McIntyre comes out and says that he is praying that it comes down to him that them two, because he wants to eliminate Seth Rollins when it comes down to them two. That's what he says. 
and and that he he needs to stop promising these people, and that's what Jim McIntyre says. So when, so that that, that means Jim McIntyre says that he's going to win the Rumble. Then the third match on the row was Seth Rollins versus Jim McIntyre, and the winner was Burn It Down Seth Rollins. He beats Jim McIntyre. So the next match on the row was the Lucha Lucha House Parties versus Jinder Mahal and the Sin Brothers, and the winner was Lucha House Parties. Lucha. Lucha, that's right. So then Elias plays his guitar and cuts a promo and talks about winning the Royal Rumble, that he wants to win the Royal Rumble in 2019. So then Baron Corbin comes out and tells him that he ratted him out last week to Braun Strowman and says that he... and calls the uh, Oklahoma City people a bunch of hillbillies that Vincent Man was right about them. And so then the crowd just boos Baron Corbin and then Elias tells the everyone to tell somebody in the back to cut his mic. And so then what happens next is that um what you call it? So then Elias Corbin went to go attack Elias so then Elias sings a song, but then Corbin went to go attack Elias and then but then Corbin fails and Elias went to go swing his guitar. So then the first match we had on Raw was Baron Corbin versus Elias and the winner was Baron Corbin. That is right. So then we had a moment of bliss. And Alexa Bliss talks about the 30 woman Royal Rumble match. She shows the participants, and I don't even know why I couldn't really tell the participants, but I'm just going to name a couple of them that she showed. We had was Bailey, Tamina, um, Mandy Rose, Sonya Deville, Ember Moon, Carmilla, Mickey James, Nikki Cross, and Charlotte Blair, and Nia Jax. And so then she brings out her guest, and that is Nia Jax, and. Uh, Alexa asked Nia Jax uh, a question about who would she face if she was to win the Ro Royal Rumble. So then Emma Moon comes out and interrupts her that she is going to win the Royal Rumble. So so then Alicia Fox comes out and says that she is going to win the Royal Rumble. So then Mickey James comes out and says that she is going to win the Royal Rumble. So then the Riot Squad come out and so does Nikki Cross and all, everything all breaks loose. And they all start to have fights and brawls and it heads all the way to the back and they're all brawling. So then Alexa Books makes a shocking statement and she says that she is entering into the 30 woman Royal Rumble match. So then Lacey Evans comes out and she says that Alexa Bliss won't win the Royal Rumble and that it's going to be her to win the Royal Rumble. So then another match you had on Raw was the debut of Heavy Machinery and versus the Ascensions and the winner was Heavy Machinery. So then another match you had on Raw was a Raw Tag Team Championship match with Kurt Hawkins as the special guest referee. We have Bobby Roode and Chad Gable versus The Revival. And the winner was, and still Raw Tag Team Champions, Bobby Roode and Chad Gable. And I say that is just glorious. That is right. And after the match, uh, the re Revivals were kind of, the Revivals were cheating in this match, right? The Revivals were like cheating in this match. And. Kurt Hawkins has to show them what happened on the replay uh, as they were cheating. So then, then the revival start to beat up on Kurt Hawkins, and then guess who comes out and makes a save? Zack Ryder, his former partner. Zack Ryder comes out and make the save. Now we could probably see them two teaming up together, back up again. So you never know because the revival did ask for their release from WWE, so maybe they could be replacing him. You never know. You never know. So the main event we had on Raw was Ronda Rousey and Natalia versus Sasha Banks and Bayley. And before the match, before the match begun, uh, Sasha Banks cuts a promo and talks to Ronda Rousey about what she said before, um, before she went out to the ring. That's what happens next. So then. The winner of the the winner of the Ronda Rousey and Natalia and Sasha Banks and Bailey match was Sasha Banks and Bailey. But then after the match, Ronda Rousey and Sasha Banks started to go at it, and they had to be split up by Bailey and Natalia, and they had to be split up. And that's what happens to end WWE Monday Night Raw, and the referee had to like split the two and to say, "Hey, that's enough. That's enough." And that's what happens to end WWE Monday Night Raw last night when it went off here. So once again, the John Squad, please like. Like this video, leave your comments down below, 
and subscribe for more. You're all the best of John Squad. You're all one of a kind. I love each and every single one of you guys. You all mean a lot to me. Thank you for joining me here on this Monday Night Raw review. I love doing this for you guys. So, once again, please like this video. Leave your comments down below. Don't forget to tap that bell on YouTube so you never miss an upload on my videos. Peace out, the John Squad. I love you guys. That's right. Peace.